maybe some some interpretation uh, and consideration is uh, like that but uh, I have to say it is not a project Tehran conference uh, exactly it is a process last week uh, it was Tehran celebration for uh, the successful steps in the nuclear activities in Iran with the presence of the President Ahmadinejad and uh, uh, the, the, uh, the scientists and the others. We said in that meeting, nuclear energy must be for everybody. The second conference this week was in uh, Washington, 40 head of states. Where Iran wasn't invited? Uh, yes, we have not been invited. If we were invited, maybe we decide to, to attend. Would you have gone if you were invited? Uh, definitely this issue is very important and we could consider. In Washington, they discussed about the protection of nuclear bombs. In Tehran, we are going to discuss about the necessity of disarmament. China has now agreed to join discussions for uh, a US proposal on US sanctions, a fourth round of sanctions against Iran. Doesn't that worry you at all? Uh, Obama can enter to the failed policies of Mr. Bush. That is uh, up to him. That is his decision, but uh, we, we recommend him to reconsider the file, consider the experience. And the first point is what mistake Iran has done? What was the fault of Iran? What kind of confidence building measures can Iran offer to the international community? What can Iran do uh, to get things going, to get negotiating with these international communities and, and, and get rid of these sanctions which are damaging to Iran's economy. You can't deny that. I would like to repeat the fuel exchange is a good formula to bring everybody around the table once again. And if the political will in the other side be realized, definitely there is possibility for further cooperation and I'm sure this formula, I mean fuel exchange formula, will create a lot of trust, confidence building for all parties together.